Hello, Internet, and welcome back to Antiheroes Anonymous, or welcome for the first time if it's your first time joining us. I'm Ethan, and I'm the Dungeon Master for this 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons show! And I'm speaking quickly because we have a lot to do tonight. <laughs> uh, Nick, do you want to go ahead and uh, start off player introductions, and then I will do announcements and a recap, and we'll get right into it. Nick, that is Paladin. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> that oh, was come on, that was I'm racing. <laughs> K-Harmony Sorcerer. Melissa Claymore is a cuba pirate. Rogue. Swashbuckler. Swashbuckler. <laughs> <laughs> you were not actually saving time. That's why. <laughs> Zach Hunter, fighter ranger. <laughs> sounds like we're shouting for. <laughs> <laughs> we are. Um, well, if you missed any of that, it'll be on the character cards yes. on top right. So that's. Oh my cool. god. Uh, <laughs> so much pressure. Welcome. Like I said, we stream on Twitch every Monday at 7 p.m. Pacific time, and then post those episodes to YouTube the following Wednesday. Throughout the show, we use a variety of uh, custom items as well as a custom battle magic table. So be aware of that as you're watching. Our music comes from BattleBards, Tabletop Audio, and Incompetech. And the <coughs> sorry, I'm burpy. I'm so sorry. Uh, the character portraits, which you'll see in the top right corner. Uh, we're drawn by an artist named Carrie Peach, who goes by at Carrie Draws on Twitter. <clears throat> if you're watching us on Twitch, you can check the uh, channel page for links and info to everything I just mentioned and more. And if you're watching us on YouTube, you can check the video description for a similar amount of information. And then, if you want more information about what we're doing, when we're doing it, and why we're doing it, <laughs> that's, that's, never mind. We um, want that information too, so <laughs> let us know. Please follow us. <laughs> you find it. Yep. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter at Antiheroes Anon. I guess I'm feeling silly today, guys. <laughs> Other than that, we just hope yes. you enjoy the show For and sure. uh, share with your friends and come back and watch more. Um, so a quick recap. The party is currently mm -hmm. focusing on recovering lost treasures uh, related to the great spirits of the Elder Haven Reaches. Um, in an effort to make it so that they themselves can uh, stand a fighting chance in the spirit world when they go to face their ultimate foe, the great spirit Orochi. Um, their first destination was a temple dedicated to the White Tiger of Yakko, located in the scenic forest of death. Uh, while they were there, they drove out an evil spirit and also claimed the sword Kusanagi, the first of the relics I mentioned before. Then they made their way to a Tengu monastery, where they faced a swarm of enemies, including Tengu, uh, Slutty, and also sentient furniture at one point. Um, then, in the upper reaches of the monastery, they entered Kor's lair, his laboratory, and began to explore it, uh, unraveling as they went room to room uh, the details of the sinister Project Homecoming. Uh, as well as the way that their enemy, uh, the wizard Orin, had managed to survive after they killed him earlier before. Um, which was that he had a bunch of creepy clones growing in test tubes. Which uh, he destroyed. Which oh, they destroyed. Yeah. Uh, and the session ended with the party, uh, the doors basically that. slamming behind you in the room you were in, uh, and the ones in front of you sliding open to allow a series of Warforged warriors to pour into the room and afford you a glimpse of the room beyond, uh, where you saw really just waves of metal, like uh, warforged soldiers, uh, these large warforged that you faced before, um, uh, some metallic tentacles sprouting out from the ground, as well as these uh, big jars full of bubbling liquid. In the uh, back one, uh, you also spotted um, a large metallic brain pul pulsing with like purple and blue energy, uh, which then spoke to you and uh, told you your time had come, identifying itself to be the new and improved body of your enemy core, the Mind Flayer. Um, did I miss anything that's in the room? Right. There was also one mysterious uh, black armor clad figure with this uh, Mind Flayer helmet, uh, complete with uh, ornamental tentacles at the base, um, standing sort of in the middle of the room facing you. Uh, and as those the doors behind you slide shut, the doors in front of you slide open, and these Warforged rush into the room, we need to roll initiative. So I'll get some music, you guys get on. Oh, I need to roll five. Show your battle map. 
If you right, have it, right, thank you. Ethan, does that black figure, or do we see any figures that have that like sound sonic no device thing that we saw? Uh, plans for? No, everything in here is nice more forged, except for the one down. figure in the black. Just, Not he doesn't just have that. Huh. You forget, my friend. Okay. This, stuff. as far as no, I know, it could be built into the. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, that's not visible. Okay. So we'll we'll love, I would love to be able to to do that right now. <laughs> nope. I mean, it's alright. Maybe they'll. They have already all rolled in advance of the session because. Maybe they will. <laughs> well, that's not good. <laughs> I'm liking what I'm hearing, guys. Sound much worse than they are. These are not bad. They're not bad. I said mine was good. I wanted that to roll. That is awesome. I wanted it's to like roll real high because I wanted oh. to go first. I, I always roll like a six on initiative. I'm always the last person to go. All right. Um, the first thing that happens as the doors slide back and this Warforged rush forward uh, is that uh, who would it be? Um, Hunter, mm -hmm. you feel that psychic link in the back of your brain that has been sort of hanging dormant for a little while, uh, rear up and uh, sees brief and momentary control of your brain. Oh. And the rest of you uh, hear in the back of your mind this piercing humming. Uh, and everyone within 10 feet of Hunter, which looks like everyone, uh, yeah. is going to... Uh, oh, where's Byaku? Oh yeah, Byaku needs to be on that. Can I come up? Byaku is 11 feet away. <laughs> I'll let you put Yako wherever you like. Wherever I like, huh? It's still there. Yeah, there we go. It never comes to me that to you. I'm so impressed. Oh, actually, no. You know what? I'm thinking of the wrong thing. This doesn't oh. happen. Oh, okay. Uh, the first thing that happens is out of your sight. Alright, it's your turn. <laughs> Just kidding! You Sorry. Have, yeah. go and <laughs> I have a lot of different types of actions uh, that I'm working yeah. with right yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Hunter doesn't kill the psychic? No. no that that didn't happen. happen. No. We're waiting. But I'm standing <laughs> she has to erase all of her notes, Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm standing in front of a bunch of Warforged. Yep. Yep. And everybody's around me. Yep. Yeah. You're You're there. So here. these two are the same? Different? Yes, they're the same. same. I'm just using. Okay. Yeah, I'm just making sure. Because I only have one. And so these two are the same. No. You I don't know. Do and then either. these are all the same. Yep. And then this guy's different. Yep. Okay. And then these are tentacles. Mm hmm. Okay. I don't know if there's any way for me to sneak attack right now. Well, she can if get you a sneak run up there. Or yeah, if you just run up there. But they're and all, there's all like people next to each other. There's she doesn't need it with Washbuckler, right? If she melees with anything, she can get. I, I think the thing has to be like on its has to be like alone. It has to be the oh, oh, is that a thing? Yeah. Oh. So. I thought it was just any time she was alone. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so I'll just dab, throw my dagger at the closest one, I guess. You could also hold action yeah, you if you can wanted to do that. If you wanted to get sneak attack. No, because it'll come back around. Okay. Sure. Which dagger are you throwing? The wind one that comes back. That'll hit. Oh. 10, so it's a 20, 26, 26. 26. 26 will hit. Um, just so you know, though, if you did run up to it, you could get sneak attack. That's oh. what I thought. As long okay. as it's Sorry. no other creatures within five feet of you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was misreading that. So, cool. yeah, you want to get sneak attack? Cool. You can just use that roll, I imagine. Do it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> uh, but your excellent roll hits. So you plunge the dagger into the first Warforged. <laughs> Okay. 
37. Uh, that Warforged, you plunged, which dagger was it? The wind one? Wind. Uh, you plunged the wind dagger into its chest, and the gust of wind that uh, echoes out from the, the dagger just completely crumples its chest and sends it flying against the wall, and there's the first trophy. <laughs> there's the first trophy. <laughs> one down. <laughs> <laughs> Several more to go. Yeah. I get this next step with my skills. <laughs> We're just gonna have like a turkey party. Like, like, <laughs> like, like a big skittle. Oh, Watch halfway through, she is gonna be like, ow! Oh, oh. 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 Go to the dentist. Anything yeah. else from Mara? Um, so, uh, if I have any movement back, I'll step back so they would be great for a little bit. Okay, how much? Like here or here? Yeah, that's good. That yeah, we don't okay. want to clump up too much. Yeah. Especially if anyone listening to the hunter is going to need to do something soon. <laughs> yep. uh, and actually, it is at this point. Uh, oh, yeah. Hunter, you feel that uh, force take over the back of your brain for a minute. Everyone, you feel that like intense pain in your brain. And then all of you around Hunter feel uh, just a sudden headache attack your uh, minds. And so it's anyone within... What range? Ten. Ten feet of Hunter. So Mara's outside of that. Yep. yep. So it's so just Thaddeus and Hunter. Uh, Hunter, you don't take any damage from this. Is there a save here or do we just take damage? That's what I'm trying to put that hold on. Uh, nope. It just no. happens. What? Wow. How much is it? Less not much. very much. Eleven points of damage. Oh, you think that's not very much? That's a lot. That is I a lot. I rolled high. 2d6, I rolled a 5 and a 6. So. Um... 11 points of psychic damage to the two of you. I'm officially under half HP. Oh no! Oh boy. <laughs> I hadn't healed oh. up to full HP before this. Yeah, I was kind of a little bit hurt when we started this too. Yeah. I have healing spirit. I'll use oh. it on my turn. Okay. Uh, then... Nothing else happens for a moment. Uh, Byako. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, Byako's got to go! Yako is going to, I guess, jump and pounce at one of the warforged the doorway. Mm. He's going to pounce at this guy. And do an attack with his bite, I believe, is what he has to do first. So, let's see if he hits. Oh, maybe not. That is a plus a 16 to hit. Uh, on the warforged, no, his teeth clatter and scrape against the plates of it, okay. unable to find purchase. Okay. Anything else from him? Nope, that's it. Harmony does not have multi attacks. All of you guys in a row. Yeah, he has away, though. Yeah. He, he could be somewhere else. He could back up a little bit. He's backing up a little bit. Yeah. Go back to where you were. Good call. Because it's my turn. And I'm going to come over here. <laughs> Let go of me. <laughs> You're stuck in my sweater. Let go. Okay. Doggo wants to play too, though. He's like, no, you want to go over there? I'm going to come over here. Okay. Oh man, here we go. And here I'm going is. to angle a prismatic sprayer I don't know, that way through the door. Oh, okay. And get as much as I can get in that area. That's probably quite a bit. Uh, how, what is the... Do you, it's the 60, hmm? 60 foot car? I believe. It's oh, So that's 60 foot 10 cone. squares deep, right? Oh. It'll get him. Just, It'll get him? Oh, get him. Yes! Nice. How and many squares get, did I move? You're gonna get like you'll hit everything. Yep. Except for maybe some dudes over there. That's okay. Yeah, everything to the left of that big warforged guy mm -hmm. uh, is safe, but pretty much I think you're hitting everything else. Okay. Wow. <laughs> 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 That's how awesome many, how, yeah, how many shades do you need to roll up? Uh, you can do it in groups or the... Also, wild magic is gonna go off. Cool. Because my because I had tides of chaos right? This is perfect. I love this turn. Uh, the regular Warforged, I'm just gonna say they all save or all fail uh -huh. automatically. Uh, because I don't want to roll that many. <laughs> uh, but the big one, we'll start with. So Ethan, we can help you roll too if you want. Like we did the last time you did Christmas ice cream. We can help you roll for stuff. There's okay. a lot going on. That's a good point. Uh, then why don't uh, between two so of this you is... yeah. Roll for the regular Warforged. Okay. They get a plus. I kind of like it better when they all fail, honestly. I know. Me too. We can Why do that. You do that? Remind me about Prismatic Spray. What kind of saves? So it's it depends on. No, they're all dexterity saving throws. Okay. And the the DC is twenty. 
and I get to roll a d8 for each target to determine which color ray, but then I only roll the damage once, or do I roll the damage once per ray? We'll roll it once per ray, I think, okay. to make it easier. I always forget you have this spell. <laughs> I'm um, glad, because okay. I, I... We're going to go back to plan A with the Warforged Warriors, mm -hmm. because they have a dex bonus of zero, so they need a natural 20, so they're all just going to fail. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, so I'll just roll the big guys. The big guys. Should I roll... Once for all of the little Warforged, and then once for the big guy, or once for each of the big guys. Or... Let me look at the next spray. Because I have to roll a d8 for each each enemy that it hits. So if I have to roll a d8 for each of the little Warforged... Just roll them all at once. Then. Yeah, so if we're going to treat them all as one kind one of group or something. I always forget about this spell. <laughs> this is the most devastating use she's ever made. I know! I'm so happy you said it up perfectly for me! <laughs> Yeah, prismatic spray. Yeah, prismatic spray. Uh, I'm glad I, I rolled higher than maintenance. Yeah, prismatic spray. Prismatic spray. Uh, okay, Warforged, <laughs> yeah. Warforged Juggernaut number one fails. Oh, but he has magic resistance. Uh, Not if fails. he gets hit with a fire ray. He doesn't. No, that's damage resistance. Magic resistance. He just gets it. He just gets it. I know. I'm just trying to make use of my feet that I can use. They right. both fail, the big ones. Oh, my nice. Uh, let's roll the armor. Like the armor friend <laughs> also fails. Hey, don't lick the table. It's the same as mine. I mean, is he licking the table yeah. or your finger? Table. Make him stop. There's something in there. That's, he's trying to get it down. I know. Don't let. He's not allowed to lick the table. Oh, he has magic. Uh, everyone in the room fails. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wait. Wow. Yep, everyone fails. Really? Wow, yeah. Yay! All right. So I'll roll. This is a good turn. I remember when you were worried about this fight. Yep. I mean, we'll see. <laughs> this is the most useful I've been in a really long time, you guys. Um, okay, so I'm rolling for the little Warforged now. This is the D8 to determine what color ray affects it. It's a four. So this is all poison damage. Okay. That's a lot of high numbers. <laughs> I'm going to use a calculator. <laughs> what a turn. Right. Good time to finish your shake now, at least. Yep. Okay, so that's 39 poison damage to each of the little work force. Okay, well, you yeah, poison the more. resistant. Uh, so that is 19 points of poison damage to yep. each of them. Damn it. Of all the things on here. Yeah, right. That I had to roll poison. Okay, and then. Um, so we'll just start from the right side, my right, so with the big Warforged guy. Sure. Big Warforged guy. Okay. I missed. Ooh, this is Violet. The target is blinded and possibly banished to another plane. Okay. Tell me about this banishment. I need to open the book for this because it doesn't You must make a save. wisdom saving throw at the start of your next turn. Success all save ends with the blindness. If it fails to save, it's transported to another plane of existence of the DM's choosing. It's no longer blinded. So it's blinded, and if it fails to save, it's also banished. Okay. Remind me of that when it comes It's up. a wisdom save? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Cool. All right, and then... And that's on your next turn? That's on its, its, its next turn. Its turn. Um, what's next? This spell. <laughs> what's next there? Uh, Actually, it does say at the start of your next turn. My next turn? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's blinded, and then at the start of your next turn, it has to see if it goes to another plane. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll then remember, remember that for another person. I, will, I, I need to write that down. Um, Warforged. I need like sticky notes, like one per person. For real, <laughs> actually. Okay, so armored person. Person. Uh, this is acid damage. Okay. I love that I get to roll all my these mixtures. I really want you to roll on the floor. Oh, I want that so okay. bad. We'll get to the rest of the turns in a minute. Yeah. Okay. It's a this, lot of damage. This is a hunter like five. Thing. 35 acid <laughs> Wow. Uh, bits of the armor melt away a little bit there. Okay. And then uh, the, the, the one that that was 35. Okay. And the, the one that looks like a Warforged here, but it's not. It's the other. The old core model. model. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this is also poison damage. Okay. 
Uh, I'm just going to keep the 35 again. times for that. You're, oh, you, I don't need to roll that again? No, I'll keep the one you did before. Okay. It, was 30, it was 39. Oh, it was one. Yeah. 39 was the poison I did before. So another poison for 30 something? 39. Yeah. Okay, and then this guy. The other Warforged guy. Now the brain. The big. Uh, what about the, the tentacles? Uh, the tentacles are technically part of the brain unless like physically attacked. Okay, so just the brain. Yep. All right. Eight, eight, eight. Oh. No, one. Fire damage. Oh, it's unresistant. So unresisted. Okay. That's good. That's probably the second best. And, and I get to re-roll any one. No, I get to treat any one as a two. two. Yeah. Which I didn't roll any ones, but I rolled a bunch of twos. I'm going to re-roll some of that using my uh, meta magic, though. So. Because I can do that. Yeah, you can. So we're going to use one of these points to use an empowered spell. And I'm going to re-roll up to five, I believe. Yeah, it's up to your charisma. Yeah. So this one, and these three, and this one. I, I rolled exactly five twos. And they're all going to oh, get re-rolled now. Can't get any lower. <laughs> it's exactly five twos again! No, it's Whoa. not. Well, I rolled three ones, but they, they get treated as twos because oh, it's fire damage. That's well, stupid. That's uh, 34. Mulligan. One plus four. 30. Where are you getting 34 from? That's uh, uh, 10, 10. 10. And then this is. Oh, yeah. I think right. These are all twos. Oh. So 10, what? 32? Yeah, five, no, 34. 5, four, 4, 6, four, six eight, 8, 10, 34. Yeah, I, missed, I must have just missed a dice yeah. when I did it. So 34 fire damage. Okay. Um, Which he doesn't get to resist. Right. Unless you didn't have resistance anyways. Um, color leaps from harmony. Just an explosion <laughs> of it. And different rays of color strike different uh, creatures in the room. Uh, and it is met with devastating effect. Anything else for harmony? Yeah, Yep, I have a wild magic surge to take care of. I was wondering if you are also going to drop a fireball or something. <laughs> I think that's enough. I'm going to save my, my okay. points. That's her ninja vanish thing. See you later. Okay, so 44 or 29. Let's see. Oh Did you say 34? No, 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 44. 44. Okay, because 34 is the unicorn. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, let's do 29. Okay. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Um, Harmony, it happens right now, right? Yep. Uh, yeah, I think uh, Harmony. Uh, basically, there, as she casts her spell, the wave of magic flies out across the room, and then there is a uh, familiar like tear in space and time behind her, and she is sucked in. And as she disappears into this planar rift, which then sews up behind her, uh, the group of you can just glimpse rocky landscapes beyond. Harmony, when you arrive in a new location, uh, suddenly and not under your control whatsoever, uh, you find yourself on a battlefield. Oh god. The um, <laughs> rocky landscape, and it is just entirely rocks in like strange uh, formations that defy the rules of gravity. There are rocks floating in the sky. And in fact, you are you find yourself standing on a rock moat. But you can see um, uh, maybe 60 feet from you, Fighting uh, amidst uh, hordes of earth elementals, uh, a group of small dwarven figures, uh, one of whom you recognize to be Nazria wielding a great axe, and she is just cleaving through these earth elementals, and you uh, just basically see her uh, fighting this difficult battle against hundreds of these earth elementals alongside her clansmen and women. Oh my god. Uh, and she doesn't seem to have noticed you. Oh my god. Bring her back. We need her. <laughs> <laughs> um, if she could, though. Oh my no, god. We'll just win. If I could. Um, is there anywhere to... I mean, it doesn't look like anyone's noticed me yet? Uh, no, not that you can tell. Okay. I'm Basically, gonna... 
you're up on like an earth moat that is floating in the sky above another cluster of earth moats down below where okay. they are fighting. So I'm not in immediate danger yep. where I am. Okay. Um, shit. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to watch and be ready to help her if I have to okay. help. Sure. Uh, Can you take me off the map? Yeah, then it is Thaddeus' turn. Just remember where I was. Well, you're like up here now. Yes, yeah, right. I was there. There, yeah. You can mark her with this if you want. Yeah, thank you. Cool. Whew. Thanks for letting me have a nice long turn, guys. Now I'm gone. <laughs> yeah, it took like half an hour. Yeah. That is, what's up? <laughs> uh, I'm going to start clearing a path. Wait. No, I'm not. I said I'd do it when my first action was going to be, and I'm going to do it. Uh, Thaddeus is going to step aside so we can see the armored figure clearly mm -hmm. and cast Banishment. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. No. Not that one. Because he might be banished on my next turn anyway. No, no the, 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 the figure. Oh, the armor, armor figure. Yeah. Okay, sorry. This is. What kind of save for banishment? Mm -hmm. uh, charisma. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really bad roll. Even out of damage. Like, uh, ten. No, I was like, ten. Okay. So that figure is True. banished. For now, anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I should probably mark where he is, too. Uh, yeah. Can we get another clear token, Ethan? Sorry for smacking that was there. like right here. He was right in between. I think he was behind the like yeah. steps. Yeah, right there. Yep. Yeah. Uh, anything else for Thaddeus? I didn't claim it was a trophy. Um, no, because all my bonus action stuff, all my bonus action spells would take a <clears throat> concentration that now I'm concentrating on this. So actually, I think Thaddeus is going to back up, which he rarely does. Okay. Um, oh boy. What's the most fun thing to do with uh, Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I know. I've Watch been waiting the for this. I thought it would be Harmony I'd use it on. Uh, but it's Thaddeus. Um, Thaddeus, uh -huh. you feel the thing in the back of your brain reel up as you're trying to focus on holding the banished creature away. Uh -huh. And this thing grabs onto the portion of your brain that is focusing on the spell and launches like a piercing blast of pain in that location and you lose focus on the spell for the briefest second and the figure reappears. Oh, oh no that's, way. That's, that's that not was a fair. Horrible spell. <laughs> that's not uh, and fair. to make it worse you take four psychic damage. What? Yep. That's not uh, fair. There should be a save for that. Elder brains, man. Uh but that takes legendary actions. So Hunter. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Okay. I'm oh, sorry, Nick. <laughs> Glad it wasn't me. <laughs> well, <laughs> now, now you sorry. know. Yeah. Don't concentrate on anything. That was the um, elder brain that did that? Apparently. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's still the end of my turn. So I yeah, I guess I'll move up. <clears throat> well. Yeah, I'll start shooting some arrows, I guess, in the room. So I guess I need to move first, right? Probably over here-ish? Yep. Okay. And then I'll start. I'll take my bow out. And um, I'm going to cast Healing Spirit, I think, on Thaddeus' location. Yeah, because the other person who's heard isn't here anymore. Yeah. And so Healing Spirit will be on you. Uh, and I think it's on your turn. You'll get healed, not on my turn, right? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever you or a creature you see moves into the spirit space for the first time on a turn, or starts its turn there. Yeah, so it's on my next turn. Great, I'm glad I went there. Well, it says on a turn, too, right? Yeah, but I have to move on that turn. Okay. Or but starts its turn. But you can start your turn there. You yeah, then you'll get a heal anyways. Yeah, so it's either one. So you'll get a heal. Unless you lose concentration for some reason. Maybe he'll use it on you. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to shoot some arrows. I'll shoot the first one at the Elder Brain. Okay, it would have tons of cover, but since you ignore it, that's fine. Yeah, I don't even care. And that is a low roll. Whoa. Actually, it's probably the masters. That's real bad. Yeah, that's a. Uh, we have team. one fleeting moment to break us. And then I'll. 13? Go Just wait till I come back. Bloods against the cave wall. That's better. That's a 21. Uh, that no, it's not yet. Okay. And, uh. Stay determined. <laughs> I'll use the bowstring on this one. Okay. 
I like that you're using us against them. Huh? I like you using against them. Me too. Uh, this is Enervation. Takes okay. an extra, it's a con save. Takes an extra 48 necrotic damage. It's save is uh, 21. I only, it's a 15, it doesn't go up, so. Okay. So, okay, so it's pass. But it is magic damage. It's magic damage. Okay. Do you get the, does it take half damage on the pass? Not at all. Uh, it doesn't say. It not is at all with the bow strength. Probably okay. not at all, yeah. With bow, it's all of that. Okay. And then the last one is another 21 to hit. Hit. Okay. And so damage. Um, yep. That's fine. That is 21 plus. Twenty-one was the thirty-nine fifty-seven. Was that all added together? Yes. Both attacks. You want it broken up? Yeah, because the first one's magic and the second okay. one isn't. Oh, I didn't specify which one. Um, okay. Well, the first one you used the arrow one, so yeah, I wrote those together. I need to do that differently next time. Okay, so that would be uh, thirty magic piercing and twenty-seven. Uh, regular piercing? Okay. Dang, that's a lot of damage. Uh, those two arrows thud into the uh, glass jar that the thing is in, and as they do, you notice there's like a weird semi permeance to it. Like, the arrows actually go through the glass to, to some extent. It's like they're physical, but also not physical, uh, and the arrows pierce into the brain. Does it actually look like it does damage? Like, it actually. Yeah, you can see like effective. there are scrapes and and like small holes being poked into the brain itself. Okay, if I know that the damage is dealt, then I'm gonna use action to require three more arrows at it. Okay, do it. Okay, so break its concentration. Yeah, how do you like this elder brain? And a half an hour. Oh. Sure. <laughs> no. Uh, no, I just remembered something, but since I forgot it, we'll ignore it for this time. Keep going. Okay. <laughs> First attack is a above a twenty-one. Oh, we did give you numbers if it's above a twenty-one. Uh, no, it's fine. Okay. Oh, that one's lower. That's a fifteen. That misses. <laughs> Bugs into the cave wall. Uh, okay. And then a seventeen on the dice. That's twenty-five. Okay, so uh, the two attacks hit. Okay. For these, I will do. Let's see. Really, it's you guys and then them. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm glad it worked out that way. But now it's you. <laughs> For the onslaught of I... <laughs> enemy turns. I'm not, I'm not even here. <laughs> I pieced out, y'all. I'll not do that. Okay. That's fine. Okay. That's 18 times 3. What is that? That is uh, 54. 54, okay. And that's all piercing. And that's it. And then the yeah, can attack. So that's it. Yep, I'm done. Are you gonna move now? No, I can't move. Oh. You so do you have to stay still when mm -hmm. you oh, when I said it? Uh, I, I, I can't move. There's some drawbacks to using the great bow. They don't come out often, but they exist. Yeah. Um, you watch, uh, those of you who can see into the room at this point, uh, there's a flash of blue light as lightning flashes across the front of the door, um, and its source is a little bit unclear from your perspective. Um, but you also see it flash around the back of the room, which I guess would reveal it. There are, like, electrical diodes here mm -hmm. that, I don't know if that's the right word, don't judge me, Zach. Mm -hmm. um, electrical energy leaps between, uh, and then dissipates. Pylons, maybe? Pylons, maybe, yep. Coils? Um, the big warforged guys. Um, One of them is blinded. Yes. One of them is very blinded. Uh, so he is going to, in a panic, send a... Like, his uh, chest cavity swivels open, and you can see this... Um, electrical energy swirling in there, uh, uh, like a similar uh, pylon type thing, and you've seen this before. A bolt of lightning leaps forth from its chest. A blinded one? Yep, shooting straight out the doorway right into its Warforged compatriots and all the way back to Thaddeus. Okay. 
Uh, so everyone in that line needs to make a dexterity saving throw. My favorite. Warforged fail. Oh no! That is super fails. Uh, what did you get, Thaddeus? A6. Okay. So everyone in the line, which is those two Warforged and Thaddeus, takes 18 lightning damage. Uh, and those two Warforged are smoked. So those are my trophies. Uh, <laughs> I did the majority of the damage to them. Uh, that's not the way trophies work, Kay. I know. <laughs> um, I know. Uh, and then he just kind of blindly like flails around, like unsure what to do now at this point. Uh, and then... The other one Which speed is that? It's the second big war portion. Comes and stands in the door. Uh door. <laughs> I know you had your hands in a brain when you ended last week. Yeah. <laughs> Please clear door. Please clear door. <laughs> yeah. I guess he's going to do clear. the same, but he's going to point this one at Hunter. Okay. So you need to make me a dexterity saving throw. Do I have your aura? Uh, yeah, you do. Oh, that's pretty good. That is a. Your aura is 5. Mm -hmm. 24. That passes. That's why I got a 6. Uh, I got a plus 5. Uh, <laughs> that makes sense. So you take 16 points instead of the full damage, of lightning damage. As it opens up its chest and BAM! Even like lightning mm -hmm. shoots out again. Okay. Make a concentration. Oh, yeah, it is make a concentration. Okay. Uh, get my plus five to this, too. Cocked? Not cocked? I didn't. I mean, it's it would pass, pass anyways. So. Yeah, it passed. Alright. So it's a 18. Okay. Uh, and then the psychic <laughs> pulse emanates from. Seven. Uh, Hunter's space again, so mm -hmm. Thaddeus, you're going to take a little bit of psychic damage as your head uh, reels with pain. Uh, it's nine points of psychic damage. Um, that is their turn. Then it would be the warriors, the Warforged warriors. Ooh. He's not going to be able to attack. Five, so these three can attack. No. Yes. Uh, he'll dash to here. Uh, yeah. The re remainder of them are just going to dash up to there. They're so fast. Um, so the only ones that can attack are the three on Hunter. Yep. This turn. They don't? Mm -hmm. You didn't use your scope at all? I didn't need to. Oh, okay. Uh, then. What did you manage? The ranger thing. Sure. Ranger Madoodle. For ranger. acting before the thing? Yeah, right? It had already acted. Oh, it did? Then they get advantage. Okay. Yep. Uh, Sorry. I thought I, I didn't roll then. I thought you said it was us than them, so I assumed that. All of us when the Elder Brain got a really low initiative. Oh no, it had already gone. Because he used a legendary action, action, I thought, which goes out of sequence, right? Yes, but it had also already taken its okay, turn. I did just realize that. You were in the room. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Um, well, first one misses. Okay. Second one is, I think, a hit. Okay. Uh, 23. Yep. Third one is a natural 20. Okay. Uh, like but they one. have weapons that you'll resist, so that's great. Oh, that's good. Okay, I like it. <laughs> um, <laughs> The first one is 10 points of damage, half down to 5. Second one is less than that. Uh, no, still 5. 11, half down to 5. And that is their turn. Uh, and then the creature. Man, I really hate having everything all in a row. Uh, the 
uh, warrior in the dark armor. Mm -hmm. um, Hit. Strides forward a little bit so that uh, they can get a good look into the room that you guys are in. So like right behind the guy? Yep. He's blocking the door. Yep. Uh, and begins to cast a spell. Can anyone counter spell? I'm not there. No, no, I can counter spell. Oh, you can. Yes. Oh, that's right. Do you want to? Do it. Uh, I don't know. Do it. Yes. I don't know how it works from the bowstring because I only used it like once. Uh, basically, just as counter spell would normally work. So if it's a spell of third level or lower, it automatically fails. Otherwise, you have to roll an intelligence check. This spell fails. Uh, so they're unable to cast okay. it. Nice. Uh, that was the bonus action. Oh shoot, no. That's not what I meant to do. Navigate it away from its sheet. Uh, and then, seeing that action fail, it will wordlessly... Um, how far did it move? Just five to get where it is, right? Ten out of ten. ten. Yeah. Uh, it holds out its hand mm -hmm. towards Thaddeus, mm -hmm. and you can see it's holding a sword hilt, mm -hmm. and then just silently a, a beam of red energy, <laughs> red force oh energy, my God! <laughs> extends from the hilt. Okay. Do the fates music. Please start playing. <laughs> And as it just sort of stands in front of you, sword extended, mm -hmm. uh, you very much get the feeling it wants to fight. Mm -hmm. Do you know who it is? What is it? Mm -hmm. Tell you oh, what. Oh no. I think I think you'll find out when Ethan tells me. When Ethan tells me, okay. Guess what guys? It's still my turn. <laughs> um It's longer than my turn, see? Right? <laughs> You're giving me a hard time. Um No Mara, you succeed on my thing, so I, I, I may know, I, I may have taken my last turn. <laughs> what? No. Don't say that. Y'all I'm at fifty HP. I'm at 41. So okay, I'll heal you. Uh, Mara, would you make me a charisma saving throw? Don't worry, she's really good at these. It is a 12. A 12. Uh, you feel as if your body just becomes incredibly heavy as you feel the psychic weight crush down on you. Uh, and you are unable to leave your current space. Uh, you can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of your turns. So for the moment, you're stuck exactly where you are. Okay. Uh, but it's your turn. Alright, but I've got these lovely things that I can throw. Um, I'm gonna throw one at the Warforged in front of the yeah, the wind one. Okay. Going for easy trophies. <laughs> wow. Well, someone's gotta clean those guys up. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> So it's a 22. 22 hits for sure. Sneak attack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you need sneak attack, on, honestly. Oh my god. <laughs> she rolled at least three sixes. Disgusting. I mean, it's already crossed off. <laughs> it's already crossed off. It's a lot. Here's your trophy. It's like. <sighs> Eight points of damage. I honestly can't believe I didn't kill any of them before Christmas. And that was the wind one, so it, well, it's because you got poisoned. You would have otherwise. So you still have a bonus action. Do you want it to do anything? Um, can I do a hand throw? Mm -hmm. But it won't come back to you automatically because it's the yeah, way you don't use your bonus next time. You don't have to. Nah, uh, I'll wait. You could use. I don't want to. You could bonus action can't dodge. Like, I can't move. She can't both bonus action dodge, but you can both bonus action hide. Oh, yeah, you could do that. Maybe if there's like some panels or something you can hide behind. Yeah, I mean, you can try and, like, you can try and, like, I duck mean, down and there's hide from the or something. There's not huge there. You yeah. can hide from some of them. Well, she can't. She can't. You could roll it. I'd say at disadvantage she because you can't yeah, really help, but... Yeah. Yeah. Psychic. You want to try Psychic that? weight from the... Oh. Mine. I'm saying that. Sorry. So. Mm. 
Do you want to try that? Uh, you know what? I'm just okay right there. Okay. It's okay. okay. Then you can make your save, right? The second At the save. end of my turn? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's a... Charisma. Charisma again. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Seven. Seven? Okay, stuck. so you're still stuck in place. Um, you are banished. No okay. have legendary action. So we will move directly on to Kaur's turn. And Kaur is going to do... He's going to think. No. <laughs> He's going to use... Where is that thing? El Mind Blast. Mm. That doesn't sound good. Ah, but nope. Uh, but it can do that. So yes. Uh, the brain dives down. Uh, like there, a chute opens up under the ground and it disappears down into a tube and reappears in the jar in the center of the room. Uh, and then... Uh, I need all Mara, Yako, Hunter, Thaddeus to make intelligence saving throws. Oh, intelligence saving throws, okay. Mind blast, huh? Can you imagine him playing this? Thinking, how am I going to be able to make a brain move? <laughs> Elder brains on their own have like a movement speed of like five feet. They can move slowly. Yeah. They have not Yep. Oh, no. That's not very good either. So I got, Hunter got a 20, Yaku got an 11. Okay, 20 passes, 11's a fail. What Mara do? 20. 20, really? Nice. Okay, so Mara passes as well. Nice. Thaddeus? They fat nine. Oof. Uh, okay. Oh, Hunter, wait, what'd you get? 20. Oh, okay. There's With no... your aura. Yeah. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was trying to make sure you had the aura yes. before, you, yes. I'm like, before you lose it. This. Yeah. Right There's no or take half damage on this. So if you pass, you take none of this. Oh, great. And no ill effects. Uh, but Thaddeus and Byakko yeah. uh, take 33 psychic damage Ooh. and are stunned uh, for a minute and can repeat the save at the end of each turn. Wow. That's real bad. This is the thing that made me a little bit afraid of tonight. Yeah. That's real bad. Is there any way to remove stun or not? There are things. Make a greater restoration? I don't think I have that. No, probably not. Okay, then it is Byakko's turn and he is stunned, but he can repeat the save at the end of its turn. See? Glad I got okay, rid of so the of fortune for the He doesn't do anything, I guess, except for try to resist the stun? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, natural flying. So okay. Maybe he's free. Uh, yeah, uh, Byakko, through sheer force of will, shakes his head and uh, is free of the stun that was holding him in place. Nice. But that's at the end of his turn. Yes. Yeah. Harmony, cool. you are standing on this earth moat, looking down on the field of dwarven warriors. Wisdom saving for a bitch. On what? That, oh, that asshole guy? who's going to be oh, banished right. if he fails. <laughs> They're not terribly wise, but he rolled an 18. Uh, Wisdom plus zero. He fails. He's finished. And the thing is, this description, I'm reading it straight out of the book. Yeah, this, this, It doesn't say it's doesn't like say the banishment back. spell. He's just, He's gone. just gone. I'm good with that description. He's I mean, it's gone. a seven level spell, so. Yeah. yeah. He's uh, just gone. It, it does say he shows up in a place of DM shooter. So he could just appear in his battle right here. Uh, <laughs> like on the ground level? You fighting? Know. <laughs> well, it is another plane of existence. Yes. Yeah. So it can't be this plane, it has to be another plane. Uh, yeah, Harmony, you do see uh, from your position, like on top of this earth oh, no. mode, Sorry, no, you no. see this uh, large warforged just appear like on another moat next to you and it just starts to look around. Wait, still blinded. Still blind? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's just like swinging. Because it feels insane. It, like, pull, it pulls a warhammer off of its back and it's just like swinging it wildly, unable to see. Cool. Mm -hmm. And you know your How spell will work on it. <laughs> what would you like to do with the rest um, of your time? So can I feel the pull? You can feel it coming. So I'm going to hold my action. Okay. I'm going to... When I when I have eyes on the big brain, cast Dominate Monster. Okay. 
Um, you watch as Nazria is uh, having this desperate battle with these earth elementals, and one of them kind of knocks her to the ground, but another, like, shield brethren comes in and stands in between her, and, like, stops the blow from uh, getting onto her with its shield, and then she shoulders her way past and cleaves that earth elemental in half with her axe, uh, and then the <laughs> rift opens behind you, and you can feel it pulling you in, unless you have anything you want to say or do in this last moment. Nazria, I believe in you! And you, you see you see her head just turn a little bit, and you are not quite sure if she sees you or not, but there's that brief moment of, like, she uh, turns her head in your direction before you're sucked back into uh, the fight where you were, and then the brain is visible before you. Dominate monster, bitch! No, I can't tell if it's deeper. Bring her with. Uh, what sort of save is Dominate Monster? It's a save that you're really bad at. It's wisdom. Okay. Uh, 16 plus 9. He's fine. Plus 9? Yep. I can't even roll a 5. <laughs> <clears throat> I can't do anything for that. Fuck! Alright. That, I mean, that triggers after my turn's over, because the yeah. end of my turn is when I get sucked back. So uh, I literally can't reappears. You do now see many more Warforged before you than you did originally. Uh, it looks like this room has gotten a lot more. I crap. can't tides of chaos to give disadvantage, right? Yeah. Nope. Did you roll wild magic for that? Huh? Oh, I didn't roll. I didn't roll just my normal wild magic check. Nope. All right. Uh, cool. Uh, that sucks. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. As you arrive in that space and cast your spell out, you hear kind of a low chuckle in the back of your brain. Oh, and, shut up. Uh, in Core's face, in Core's voice, you hear. No, that's not going to work on me. The pitiful little spells. Uh, and then there's a psychic stab in the back of your head says Hunter's uh, brain rumbles and uh, Thaddeus and Harmony take some psychic damage. Six points of psychic damage. We're not looking too hot, guys. And then it's so Thaddeus' turn. Oh, I need to heal you. Yeah. I hope you heal me for a lot. I it's 1d6. I'm gonna switch to It's only 1d6. Spells. It's a level 2 spell. That's all I have. But yeah, it's 3. <laughs> it's 3. <laughs> Great. Don't you have to yeah. use magic, Thaddeus? Yeah, I'm gonna have to use it. Well, no, and I'm stunned, so I can't do anything. Right. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, we don't have any healing places either. Alright, so I don't do anything, but I make a save. Exactly. This is a intelligence save? Yep. Why don't we have any good version? Uh, it has a 16. 16 doesn't quite do it. Yeah. Uh, so you are still stunned for the moment. Uh, um, and then no. at the end of Thaddeus' turn... Uh, where's my pen? Oh, a faint wall of force appears in uh, around that middle pedestal. This is what I forgot earlier when it was off screen. It cast wall of force, so oh. you couldn't have shot it, but I completely forgot about it. So, oh, lucky shot! Um, <laughs> Thank you for giving us something as well. Yep. Uh, then it is Hunter's turn. Okay. I'm gonna use Kusanagi, and I'll try and help out Thaddeus here. Um, what can I do for you? Four speed berries. <laughs> no, I'm gonna try and get my way over to you. Do you have good berries? Because it's gonna come to that. I don't know. I didn't say it. I... You didn't say it. I didn't say that, so I guess not yet. But you can always make them if the I can make goes them. down. Yeah. Um, I think I might move like so. Okay, you're standing before the figure with the red lightsaber? Yes. And I have my gray lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> and I will, I think, attack. Um, is it attached to him or is he holding it? It's holding it. Okay. So I will swing at him. Okay. And um, let's see if I can make this work or not. Um, I don't have any advantage or anything. Okay. So. Okay, that's a crit. Okay. Nice. I'm gonna roll it again and lop off his 
something. Let's see. His mandibles. Yeah. Come on! Dang it! Oh, that really does. You got a 15. Oh, and your arm is gone. Just like Luke. <laughs> okay. okay, so that's that's one hit. I would be kind of sad if that I'm going to use disarm attack on that one. Okay. So he has to make a strength disarm saving throw. Disarm attack. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> I would have really been a disarm attack. And then... Um, <laughs> it's a 21 on the strength save. Okay, passes. Um, I'll do another attack. That is not very good. That is... Below average. 16 to hit. Uh, that does not quite. Okay. Uh, this figure is holding a uh, big metal shield in the hand that's not holding the lightsaber. That's a crit. I got another natural 20, though. Dang. Uh, <laughs> but I was just also going to describe yeah. it. Now that you can see the shield, you can see that it has a white hand on it with an eye in the middle, but the eye seems to be an actual, like, varnished human eye that is built into the shield. This arm attack! No! Oh, the team! It's so close! <laughs> I want it uh, so bad. So the next one was a disarm? Also a disarm, yes. Natural one. So it drops the lightsaber or the Scoop shield? Scoop it up. The, the sword. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna roll damage. This is gonna be a lot because I get I get an extra 14 slashing damage per crit. Yep. Okay. So we get four. I need more defense. I got lots. I need. Give me some of the. How many do you need? I need. Four more. I really love this music. I'm sorry, guys. It's good. Is that four? Yeah. Yes. No, no, no. Let me do it. Good. I have all the three times. Oh, that's a lot of high numbers. So, that's 20. That is 35, 41, 48. Plus 48 plus 28. Is 60, 76. Yeah. Plus 14 is 90. 90. Yeah. So wow. 90 damage at that figure, and I scoop up his lightsaber. Okay. Um, the figure, uh, basically, like your swords slice through the armor, uh, and the figure falls to the ground. Uh, and begins to sort of like start bleeding out on them, uh, or at least that's what it, what what would happen if I just remembered there was a spell in effect here. Uh, yes, it was. Um, there's a flash as the the figure would have fallen to the ground uh, unconscious. There's like this flash of bright white light, uh, and you watch just the most critical of wounds close as a death ward is expended, and the figure <laughs> remains uh, standing. Impassive, just uh, standing before you now, light this with one hit point. Okay. And, um. See, I just have to wait for a while before tax support can start. Wait! I don't think I have anything I can do for my bonus action except move the spirit. Um, so I might move it on harmony. Is that is able to talk or can you not talk if you're stunned? I think it says you can, like, falter, like, speak with, like, a faltered voice or something. I think that's true. Or you can also use the message hearing if you want to talk. Well, you still still I, that's hearing. an action. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. I think I think that is and just like... only faltering. Though. Yeah. Like, when he sees Hunter about to kill this figure, he's like, no! Oh! But that's all I can get out of. Okay. I will not then. I speak only faltering. Uh, so that's it for your turn? Uh, I'm going to move the healing spirit over to Harmony Square, I think. Okay. With my bonus action. Is that the healing spirit? What is this? That's, That's the healing spirit. spirit. Okay. So Have you just given up on, on Patty's now? No. Because uh, <laughs> her turn comes yeah, yeah. first, it's right true. before yours, so. Yeah. That 1d6 is beautiful. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> you can make a difference. Because um, yeah. her turn's on Patty's. Yes. Oh boy. It's on its tentacles. We're almost in range for the hell she does. <laughs> okay, so it can't. Um,
Uh, I guess this is it again. Um, we'll do it from Biako this time. Uh, there's that humming sound from Biako's uh, head, and uh, Mara, you feel a psychic pulse in your head uh, as pain stabs into your brain, and you take six points of psychic damage. And that's the last legendary action. Uh, and then you watch as lightning arcs around the room, this time catching the big warforged who is standing in the door. Uh, let me check how much damage you take. What a <laughs> Harmony Snickers. Uh, and he takes 14 points of lightning damage. Dumbass. Uh, and then it's his turn. Oh, and he's going to come into the room. Does he attack the lightning rod? Nope. Darn. <laughs> Thank you for clearing the door. <laughs> I think Tabby needs a little relief though, so like... Yeah, we got a lot of stuff. I don't think he can put any more things around me. I know. Nope, I don't think I can. <laughs> uh, Mara, it's going to make attacks against you. And uh, maybe one against Biako. Let's see, how many does he get? Two hammer and one slam. Cool. So the hammer attacks will be against Mara. Remember right. that tiny dodge that you can use for the... The most uh, 14 misses, I assume. Yes, yes. <laughs> even worse, 10. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. So Mara, even though you're just like anchored in place, you just kind of duck from side to side, and its hammer swings just totally miss you. <laughs> Yucko might not be quite so lucky. 19? Hits. Okay. Yucko takes 16 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And needs to make a strength saving throw. Okay. Oh boy. That's a natural one. So that is a 15? That's not uh, No, it's a natural one. Don't worry about it. Well, he falls prone then in his state, or in his uh, space. Yeah. He's prone? Okay. So. Yeah. That's right. Is Biako stunned? Oh no, he, no, he's safe. He's safe. Oh, was Mara stunned? No, I'm just stunned. You saved, right. Okay. I'm just She's stuck in place, but she's not stuck. Oh, was I supposed to roll for that again? On your turn? Yeah. You haven't had your turn yet, have you? So I did it all at the staff's turn for that. Was, was she supposed to roll a save at the end of her turn to get out of the She was, thing? yes. Mm -hmm. So make one more uh, charisma saving throw. Okay. Twenty. Okay, yeah, you find yourself able to move again. So oh, on your next turn, you can nice. be mobile. Uh, the Warforged Warriors, there's going to be three attacks against Thaddeus. Okay. One against Hunter. No, mm -hmm. sorry, two against Hunter and uh, one against Hunter. The three around me have advantage. Yes. Technically, it could be three against Hunter and two against Thaddeus. Yeah, Technically, but... it could be four against Hunter and one against Thaddeus. <laughs> it, it sure could be. But, uh... <laughs> I'm trying! I warned Nick in advance that like, yeah. this enemy in particular has enemies there's, with Thaddeus. There's so. a reason that I'm almost dead and nobody else is. Yep, that's cool. This enemy wants to kill Thaddeus in particular. So here we go, three attacks against Thaddeus. Uh, I need to do a kind of a step back. So this is plus five, so that is uh, 22. Hits. Natural 20. Hits. And uh, three. Done that one. On the dice. So, oh. Uh, the one that hits you uh, with the great sword does three points of slashing damage. Okay. And then the crit. Uh, 22. Both okay. ends of the chaos plateau. Alright, I'm down. No. Uh, so Thaddeus falls unconscious there in his face, uh, sort of his last words stammering to Hunter Don't! Uh, I guess. And then Trying there were two attacks against Hunter, natural 20, and a 17 plus, so 22, and a natural 20. And they both hit. Uh, seven points of slashing damage, sorry, 10, add down to five. Okay. And then the natural 20 is uh, 14, half down to seven. 
Yeah, if you if you left the healing spirit in this space, I could just come back. Yeah, it's still. Yeah, you can move it on its next turn. Yeah. Oh, and then there was one attack against him, which is a two one dice. Wow. So we dodge out of the way. Uh, then it's would be the lightsaber wielding person, but they have no lightsaber. <laughs> I have a new lightsaber. <laughs> it's it's seems so no, it's Addy's attack. You'll still get back up on your turn if you use it on his turn because he goes before you. Really? Yep. Oh, okay. Do I? Yep. Oh, okay. I think so. Would you roll on ammunition? Maybe not. I can't remember. Hey, Ethan, do I go it's, before Thaddeus? It's that and then Hunter. Oh, yes, Thaddeus. That's what I'm um, The figure in the black armor begins to cast a spell. Oh, I need to roll. Uh, I'll take it. Or, no, they both pass. Okay. I'm casting down the spell. Okay. Uh, the spell fizzles, and the figure turns to look at you, uh, and then has no weapon. So, <laughs> having used a bonus spell. That was very spell, close. That was very just close. Disarmed. <laughs> he's like. <laughs> I just stick out my tongue at him. Okay. Yeah. Um, it. Quickly begins casting another spell. Oh. Uh, since you just spelled its bonus action one, you mark off that spell slot. I only have one reaction now. I can't. Uh, and. Where would be the best place? It's gonna burn some of its Warforged friends to do this, I think. Oh no, it can put it right on the console. That's great. Uh, Hunter, would you make for me mm -hmm. a. Dexterity saving throw? Sure. So, I, do I need your R if you're unconscious or not? No, you don't. Okay. Like that anything. is a 21. 10 foot radius. It's still going to have to get its 4 foot. Which is like all, of, all four of them. Where's the best place to put it? So that's 10 foot, that's 10 foot. And it'll go, it'll get Thaddeus too. So all of these Warforged plus Thaddeus and Hunter. Uh, so Thaddeus, you just need to make one death save off there. Uh, um, no, I'm dead. There's no save. It's just one fail. Yeah, because yeah, I took right, that's damage. what he meant. That's what I meant. It is. I just can't speak clearly okay. because so much is going on. Um, Hunter, you pass your save. Yeah. Uh, so you will take half of this damage. Okay. Uh, Uh, so that's 14 points of radiant damage. Oh, that's radiant. And 8, 7, uh, 15 points of fire damage as a column of flame erupts. Is that halved already or not? Hmm? Are those halved or not? Those were not halved. 14 and 15, 15 I said. Mm -hmm. So 7 and 7, so 14. 14 total. So I'm going to use absorb elements on the fire damage. Okay. Uh, and reduce that down to. I re oh, if I resist it again, or if I resist it, then is it just half and half? Is that how that works? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, sure. Okay. So that is. A uh, column of flame erupts in the room, sort of centered on that console, and incinerates uh, two of the Warforged that were there. Oh, more trophies for you. That's why you did it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and seeing, yeah. seeing the uh, fire elements sort of be absorbed into Hunter and not deal that much damage, uh, the figure just kind of um, lowers its head angrily, as mm. if it... Uh, is considering its next action. That's its turn. Still my turn. You have one. Still yeah. Yes. Good. Good. Use it. I will. Oh boy. That or someone else can take it. Can we do a handoff on mm -hmm. someone else's turn? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hasn't everybody gone down? It's the lair action. Oh, okay. Uh, there's a 
shimmer of psychic energy in the doorway. Uh, please clear the door. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Just waiting for him. <laughs> Actually, there's a shimmer of psychic energy. Well, let me see what its range is. Okay, it's stuck. Way over here would be great. <laughs> Actually, anywhere yeah. on this layer. Cool. <laughs> Actually, uh, says actually. <laughs> there's a shimmer of psychic energy near Thaddeus, uh, and uh, in the space next to Thaddeus, a blue-skinned form appears, sort of materializing out of out of thin air, um, like almost as if it's comprised of like heat waves or something like that. It's just slightly shimmering and like um, uh, almost like it's it's there, but it's also partially not. A, uh, I've got a figure for this oh, one. A blue skinned uh, mind flare clad in nothing at all. Um, just this smooth, oily, slimy looking skin uh, materializes over Thaddeus. And all of you here from uh, that space originate a voice, and it just says, I told you this would be your end. And it looks down at Thaddeus. And then it is Mara's turn. Guy standing right in front of me. Mm -hmm. And you got Bianca there too. So, yep. sneak pad. Uh, I was thinking of, of doing a thunder step and taking Bianca with me to get Ooh. out of that area. You already used it today, not anyone? Right. You yeah. used it in that other room, a few rooms back, to That's get right. inside the wall, of course. That's right. That's yes. right. I did. I did. Sorry. Okay. No, it's okay. <laughs> Keep it real. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna attack that guy right in front of you. Okay. Yeah, get him. Destroy him. 27, it's pretty good. Hits! And you've got Pyako, so it's sneak attack. I think we've got a sneak attack. Right. Oh, that's a lot. That's good. Above average. Above average, I think. That's a lot. That's a lot. Uh, that's sweet. Okay, so that's a lot. Man, there's no, not a six in this roll with those guys. So Take practice. 38 plus 5, 41? Oh, no. Okay. 40. 38 plus 5, five is four, 43. 43. Uh, you plunge the dagger into it, expecting a like grievous wound, like it for it to crumple as like your all of your past 15 victims have. <laughs> in the stop. But it just kind of looks down at you and Pushes you back a little bit and then, like, begins to raise its war hammer again. You have another attack, though. Do you want to do that? Yeah. No, it's just gonna be a little. That's worth doing. Uh, you mean you can have nothing else to do? Unless you, did you have something else you wanted to do? Okay. Okay, so here we go. Uh, Thirteen. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> shimmering figure reaches down to where Thaddeus lies on the ground, kind of kneels in front of him. Uh, oh dear. And in papers. Uh, and its tentacles begin to like kind of creep over Thaddeus's body, mm -hmm. but at advantage, roll the 13. Okay. <laughs> so it still misses I, Thaddeus. I think, I think what happens here is like, like, it's not that it clashes against the armor, it's not that like Thaddeus rolls out of the way, it's like, I think that the sauna head is protected. Yeah, is. there's a, there's this like uh, shine of moonlight, and the mind flare kind of like hisses and recoils from it for a second, but then it begins to like take its uh, tentacles and like bear down on Thaddeus again. But um, for the moment, you're safe. Oh my god. Biako. Who goes after Biako? Me. Biako. No, can... Harmony. Me, I think. Biako can use items, yeah, right? Have we had any items before? Can you Depends do that? on the item. Potion? Probably not. 
No. He could deliver the item permanently. Do you need it to be delivered? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I can reach you I'll, over all those. He can. He'll, he'll do it if you need it. Unless you think he'd be better off knocking that guy down. Oh, that's armored guy. He is also like, at half his speed because he's currently prone, so we'd have to stand back up. Yeah, but he can go and knock that guy unconscious. Uh, he has to get a hit on it, and that guy's at one HP. He's at one HP. What do you mean? So yeah. get a hit on him, and you can knock but, him unconscious. But I don't want to. You don't want to kill him, but you could do. You could do non-lethal. Non-lethal. Yeah, you yeah. non-lethal. Okay, so I'm gonna try and do non-lethal. Do a pounce attack on okay. this guy. The big guy takes a swing at the up. Go. That's fine. Not that great. Uh, it's a 12. Miss. And I will do an attack with Yako. That is a 20. Yes, hit. It is a nice. And uh, not only just a hit. Do I have to? How does this work? Do I just still roll? Just roll damage, damage and you just have to say it's not lethal. Yeah, you just proclaim it in advance. Yeah. Okay, non lethal. He has to do a strength check, DC 12. Well, any amount of damage is going to knock him down unconscious. Him. So, okay, so the whatever. finger falls to the ground. Okay, so nine damage. Oof. And then. I get it. Yay, you listen to Thaddeus. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that. I don't think there's anything else Yako can do. No? I think so. I think it's good. So okay. Yako's done. Harmony. Okay, so. I. In running past Hunter. He can hand me a healing potion, and then I can give the healing potion to Thaddeus as an action. I still mm-hmm. have my bonus action, right? Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna go do You're that. You take some one attack of opportunity, two attacks of opportunity. Well, I'd still be in. It'd be two. It'd be these yeah, two. Yeah, that's right? fine. Mm-hmm. I'll take them. An eight and a twenty. Okay, well the twenty hits. Four. Nine points of slashing damage. Did you take your? Did you get your healing spirit? Oh yeah, give me some healing first. Oh yeah. (laughs) One. (laughs) So eight points of (laughs) damage. Thanks for reminding me. Spell rules. (laughs) Okay. Um, So I'm gonna give the healing person to Thaddeus. I'm amazed you're still concentrating. And then I'm gonna turn. I get a plus seven. And I'm going to look at the brain, and I'm going to cast the banishment. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Um, Thaddeus, you come to conscious again. Mm-hmm. Do you want to roll the hit points? Yeah. So it's, it's a superior. It's a superior? It's a superior healing potion. Oh, wow. So superior is how many? It's quite a few. Is it eight feet It's four? the only one we ever had. We never used it until now. This is a good place it, to use it. We got it really early, too. Well, you're the one that's like, had yeah, it. Yeah. We had no idea. I didn't need, I was like, please, 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 please. And I'm like, because I was looking for a healing potion, and then I saw the word superior. And I like, have like this. 10. So how, this many, how many do I have to see the Oh, superior or supreme? Superior is what I wrote down. 8d4 plus 8. Wow. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, enough. Uh, okay. Supreme is great. It's 10d4 plus 20. That's a lot. Well, unfortunately, it's cool. 2 3 <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I'll take anything. Yeah. yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me do math. Once I'm up, I can heal myself more. Right. And you're not stunned when you get up, right? No, I will not be stunned. Why? I think you could be. Why would I? Be? It's one minute or until you save me instead. Yeah, but I went down. After you come back? 16? I'm not sure. I don't know how that works. I think 16. 16? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I rolled a lot of twos and ones. Uh, but it's plus eight. Oh, 16 plus 8. Oh, okay. So okay, 24. 24. 24. You guys are having a rough time. We'll rule in your favor and say you're not stuck anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Near. So, yeah. Before I waste a spell slot, would I know whether or not banishment would work through the wall of force with all of our experience with wall of forces? Uh, you rolled a good arcana check on it last time. Uh, let me look up banishment. Because I know things can't penetrate it, but can. But he was able, you guys were able to work to the inside of it. Yeah, yes, I've, we did. That's I've right. Inside it. So, so it depends. I think it depends. Think it's like, like uh, wall of, or sorry, um, fireball, where it's like a bead streaks towards right. it, because that wouldn't go through. Right. But, but I feel like banishment isn't me pointing and sending a spell. It just happens. Creature within range. Yeah, it just happens. So it would work. Okay. You're right. Banishment. Okay. Come on. Cross the I have to. Know. I have to cast. You gotta cross my eyes. <laughs> 
Uh, it's what kind of save? Yeah, it's whatever you're bad at. Charisma, it's very good at charisma. Oh, no. Uh, 28. Oh, dang. Fuck you, whore. It says in your head, no, fuck you. Oh. <laughs> I think we just kill him. No, we're trying to banish it. Huh? You have that much save. Well, I was... I didn't know he oh, had I know, I know. plus I'm not, eight I'm not, yeah, I'm his charisma and plus nine to his wisdom. I'm trying everything over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gotta be something he's bad at. <laughs> Strength. <laughs> he's got muscles in there. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, I can't do anything with the deck save with that little force up there. Anything else on your turn then? Um, that was my movement, my action, and my bonus action. So, okay. nope, I'm done. That is, it's you. Okay. You come to consciousness, you feel you would feel Asanahan's. Wait, I still have what? some movement left. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get out of the ten foot range of the mind blasting from That's you guys. A good call. I'm gonna go back over and, here. Yeah. Into so, the healing spirit? Do I get healing again if I enter it again on my turn? No, I don't think so. I think we talked about that. Because that would be really awesome if you could I was like Ooh, it's like circle it around. It just says the first time or it starts your turn there. Damn it. Yeah. Two of them are gonna make attacks with one unless you leave, though. That's cool. Um, natural 20 and a 16. Well, I'll shield, shield the 16. And then it's uh, 19 points of slashing damage. Oh from my god. Oof. You okay? Nope. No. I think I have six hit points left. Okay. Well. Uh, and then. At the end of Harmony's turn, there's that hum from Hunter's brain, and Thaddeus and Byako are going to take some psychic damage. Wait, I'm not. I'm, this is exactly why she went away to avoid. I know it's from Hunter. Oh, it's from Hunter. Okay. Yeah, he didn't say I was taking. Gotcha. Uh, eight points of psychic damage to Byako and to Thaddeus, as the piercing headache continues as you come back to the consciousness. But then it's your turn. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is use all the rest of my lay on hands on myself. Bring myself back up to 56. Oops, that's not what I'm doing. Uh, that's my action. I have, I have the bonus action. Music just got really quiet. There it is. Yeah. Uh, Bonus action, I'm going to give Harmony my shield. Okay. Uh, the plus, plus, plus three. three. Moonlit energy flies across the room and surrounds Harmony, protecting her. Okay. That's it for you? Mm -hmm. uh, then it is Hunter's turn. Okay. I'm going to not forget to do coordinated attack. I found an opportunity if the Yako's going to attack this Warforged, not the down figure. Okay. Cool. That is a. <laughs> I don't know if he can move. No, no, he didn't need to move. I don't think he was diagonal. Yeah. Um, oh, it's right here. Oh, it's right here. You're right. Uh, it's only a 16. 16 hit. The 16 does not hit. Okay. Nope. Hunter's turn. He's going to swing wildly, not really that wildly, at the three Warforged surrounding us. Okay, so one attack each? Yep. Well, we'll see how many hits I get, but yes. Uh, so natural 20, yeah. okay, and then that one's a 20 and a 28. All of those are hits. Okay. So let's do the critical hit first. <gasps> Why don't you just see if you lock something Come up? on! One time! No. Three. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you probably get a lot of things off anyway. Yes. Uh, yeah, you don't have to roll damage against him because he's dead. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, if it humans just <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Just, you know, two hearts pumping. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's eight. So that's eight and ten uh, damage to the other ones. Okay. Alright, I guess if, it does, if, if the ten doesn't kill one of them, I'll swing at him again to finish him off. Oh, okay. Uh, so you're not going to hit three, you're going to hit two. I would like to down two of them instead of just and one. And you do. Okay. So I won't spread it out. Which one was that? That one's fine. Okay. Yeah. And then um, I used my that. Oh, it's a, I was supposed to do extra damage. Um, 
So hang on, let's try this real quick. Because I have absorb elements going, so I'm still oh, right, doing right, D6 right. of damage. So that 10 is actually a 16. Okay. Well, is that enough to can, kill him? Yes. Okay, then I'll do the eight. Sorry, eight on the third one then. That's okay. Okay. Now we're good. Now we're now we're all set. Uh, the lightning. One at a time. <laughs> I know. I just. just a lot of the times I appreciate doing them all at the same time, but sometimes when there's multiple targets, it gets. Weird. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll do that next time. Uh, the lightning leaps through the room, affecting no one. Uh, the big guy who's next to Mara. Gets his lightning bolt back. Um, I was gonna move. Oh yeah, do it. If I can do that too, to get away from people, so we don't zap each other. Be like here, and then uh, I was also gonna use um, uh, second move, and okay. then my turn's done. Sounds good. I have a really stupid idea, you guys. I'll take any that can be fun. <laughs> Mara, you can take, and Hunter can both take attacks of opportunities against the big guy as he moves away from them. Sure, gladly. Five four. That hits. Uh, nineteen. Uh, just maybe hit. Hold on. Okay. Uh, does not quite hit. No. Nope. Okay. So I don't get to sneak attack. I just get there. You do get sneak attack. Because it's not on your turn. Sorry, 19 would, ha would hit. I've got his AC calculated as if he had a shield, but he doesn't have a shield. So, 19 does hit. Okay. All the other ones have shields though, right? Right. Mm -hmm. okay. But you do get sneak attack, right? She gets sneak attack because it's mm -hmm. his turn. Yep. Wow! <laughs> what? So much of that happened. Good turn. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. 41. 41 plus 5, so 46. 46. How many? 46. 46. Okay, and Hunter? Um, I will do a trip attack, I think. No. Yeah, because he yeah. pushed me. Get yeah, out! Yeah, I'm going to trip him, I think. Well, what kind of save is it? <laughs> Was that an opportunity? Um, that actually, I don't know why he's going over there. I'm gonna use a goading attack instead, and that'll be a wisdom save. Okay. Uh, well, the roll was a 19 plus nothing, so 19. Okay, so that passes. I think my save is 19. Yes, my save is 19. If you try to run away, you know. Um, see it's five right now. How long does she tap first? So, and then my damage is 10. Okay. Plus seven, so 17. Uh, between the two of you, like, harm, uh, Mara, you carve into a section of his back and, like, his arm yes. starts falling loose. Yes. Hunter, you carve into, like, a piece of his leg and one of his legs is falling apart and he just hobbles over. And as he's hobbling, you can see his chest cavity open. No. no. And he just, bang, in a line, uh, hitting the, uh, psychic version of Core the Mind Flayer and also Thaddeus. So I need deck saves from the two of you. Well, at least this will answer a question I had. Which is, is that guy a target? <laughs> well, whatever he is, he rolls a 13 at his next save. Bad, though. I mean, not just bad, you're just rolling bad. Uh, 11. You have at least a plus 5, that's not terrible. No. <sighs> Both of you fail. I just can't roll this at all. Yeah. Oh, my. Uh, 34 points of lightning damage to both of you. Uh, and you watch as the lightning, uh, kind of, like, shoots through the creature in front of you. Uh, but it also does seem to take damage from that. Like, bits of it, uh, don't reform as the lightning, uh, blast dissipates. Okay, who did it hit? Just and then, to my player. How much did I say? 34? 34. Um, I rolled really high. Okay, that is its turn. Then it's the Warforged Warriors. One will attack Yapko, one will attack Harmony. Yapko is a 17. That hits. Harmony is a 12, but I believe you still have shield up. 
I have shield and I have Thaddeus shield, so. So no gun. 20 fucking 2, bitch. Wow, it's more than me. <laughs> I know, that's my AC right now. I know. Um, end of a turn there. Uh, Yako will take 11 points of psychic damage. Okay. Uh, and so will Mara, because she's within 10 feet of the up. Is she not? No. Oh, no, she's not. I couldn't see a space. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. So just Bianco. Uh, my turn goes on for forever, guys. We need to space things better. Well, we're killing <laughs> we some tried. stuff. <laughs> oh, I tried to kill that big guy. All right, lair actions. Who do we got? What do we got? All the forces all again. Don't need to do it. Is it does this guy go away? He's still there. Okay. Uh, Alright, this is the only one it has. Who's it good for? Hunter, make me a charisma saving throw. Oh, oh. are you in for a treat? <laughs> yeah! 15. Uh, you are, by sheer force of will, anchored in place where you are and cannot I'm not going to pass this ever. Um, Alright, it's your turn. There's a big Warforge. There's this like apparition version of Core. Yeah, you'll get sneak attack on this one. Yeah, you get sneak attack on the other one too. Uh, the apparition form, it's a little bit hard to tell, but like bits of it didn't reform after the lightning bolt. Oh, that's right. Uh, that's so it is damaged. Uh, the big guy, very damaged. Like he's barely holding on. Well, I don't want to pick that and get him. Good call. Okay. Is this a throw or are you walking up there? Oh, yeah, I have to get go to him then, I guess. You okay, 27. 7? 27. 27. Oh, 27. Yeah, 27 hits. <laughs> 7 <laughs> That's a roll. I don't have to roll. <laughs> I tell you. Uh, I think you're going to kill him. About average. Take a trophy. Um, which dagger was that? The winning one? Yeah. You stab it into his back as you run up behind him. Uh, unfortunately, just too slow to prevent him from blasting Thaddeus with lightning. Uh, but then he crumples to the ground in a uh, with a, a series of like big boops, and he's just no. dead. Uh, so that was your that. action. You still got movement and bonus action. Okay, so with my bonus action, I'm going to check to throw. Well, I'll come back. You could move up to him. Yeah, let's do that. Throw it. Yeah, yeah. Someone Metro will throw it. Okay. <laughs> you better so let's see that. <laughs> you can roll five stuff. Oh, okay. A five plus eight. <laughs> eight times. Eight. eight. <laughs> Was that to this one? Or to one of these? Two. You know what you were getting? It was to Core, okay. the, the psychic form of him. Uh, but she had to move up to do it. Oh. Or she didn't have to, but she chose to. Oh, then it's his turn. Uh, the sort of psychic manifestation of Kor, uh, you can see that it is. Uh, there's anger behind its eyes at the fact that Thaddeus is conscious again and standing before him. Uh, but he can see that uh, since you stood back up, you've taken damage again. I think Thaddeus like, spreads his in all this for me. Uh, and you just hear in your head, oh, there's more for you where that came from. Uh, and he's going to make an attack. Uh, remember, you don't have your shield bonus. Yeah, right now. but I can cast you. Uh, 17 plus 7 for 24. Yeah, that'll do that anyway. If you cast shield, you get 25. Or you get a plus 5. I would, but you've got 3 of those. Oh, so you can only get a plus 2? Um... I thought the shield spell, you get plus five. I do, but you have three of this. Oh, I see. I see, okay. Um, in which case, I'm going to take average damage here because I don't want to roll it all. Uh, oh no, you have to be incapacitated to do that. So I just will do a tentacle attack. Oh, um, <laughs> so I will roll yeah. damage because that's much more manageable. Like a slap face. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
six points of psychic damage, okay. and you are grappled as its uh, psychic tentacles uh, grab over you. And without the moonlit shield that you sent over to Harmony, mm-hmm. uh, it manages to get hold. And then I need you to make an intelligence saving throw. Oh my god. I'm so bad at lock and tonight. Oh, that's oh. good though. That's a. A 23. Oh, that's enough. Okay. No, 21. 21. That's still enough. Okay. Uh, you feel the psychic energy as like the tentacles are wrapping around your head and grappling you there. You feel the psychic energy buffeting your head, but by sheer force of the fact that you read a book recently, <laughs> you resist. Anything will do. Okay. Um, I'm going to need to check for something. The what? I'm, do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrified now too. Jeez. Biako. Oh, Biako decides to move on giving water. <laughs> Here, let me. <laughs> okay, Biako's gonna pounce. I think what I I want Biako to pounce on this guy. On the uh, psychic manifestation. Okay. So he needs to oh I need to hit first. Sorry, hang on a second. That's a <laughs> took one to the old book of Mara there. Twenty one to hit. Uh, hits. I don't need to roll. Uh, he needs to make a DC 12 strength saving throw. Or be knocked prone. That's what mind flayers aren't good at. <laughs> but he rolled a natural 20. Oh, okay. But well, he's real strong. On the so Matt Mercy dice. Okay. <laughs> You're not allowed to roll that one anymore. Um, okay. That is 6 damage. Okay. And that is Yako's turn. Um, uh, he bites into it, you can see the little bite marks uh, being clawed through it, so it is doing damage. Okay. Even though it is sort of like spectral and all that. And it's magic damage? That makes a difference? Okay. It doesn't. In this okay. case, but... Sure. Okay, at the end of your turn, I need to actually fix something, because I might have been able to do something for a while. Oh no. Yeah, I can't. Through a wall? No. Um, Oh. Okay, that's as far as it can go there. Oh well. Things pop in. Um, basically, from like uh, holes in the floor, the floor was basically covered in wires, and you see the wires kind of like push aside, and from holes in the floor, these metal tentacles sprout up. Crap. Um, so on this turn, uh, at the end of. Yako's turn. We uh-huh. use a legendary action to make a ton of attack and rolling after one. <laughs> so all that for now. Harmony, sir. <laughs> I'm excited. All right. What so, you have? I love uh, it. Quick and spell. Mm-hmm. Dimension door. Here it comes. The spirit will heal. What you? Oh, you heal. I heal. Oh, I oh, heal. Oh. <laughs> Three. Thank you. You're welcome. I have nine hit points. Yay. This is what uh, makes you find fun. yourself standing on the stone steps leading up to the plinth that holds this big canister of like semi transparent, semi solid uh, glass. And I'm so, going to say does, it, does the damage still sustain that I dealt before to the brain? Mm-hmm. Okay. And so this glass is like damage, but that one's not. The glass did, never looked terrible. It never damaged. took any. Okay. It was just the brain within took damage. Exactly. Okay. Give her, give her a moment. Yeah, yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to say, I am so done with you, and I'm going to cast Disintegrate. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what can I say? It's a deck save, bitch. Guess what? You found one he's not good at. <laughs> you told me he's not good at it. Um, Alright, plus zero. Here we go. 18. Fail! Fail! Yes! That means 10d6 plus 40, you motherfucker! Whoa! It's a great good spell! It is! Whoa! Force damage. Alright, I'm gonna re-roll some of these. Okay. She is white hot. I need now instead of... Okay, so I used two for quicken and one more for this, so... so. And... Let's see, re-roll this one, and this one, and this one. I think I'm just going to re-roll three. I'm going to keep these threes. Shall I re-roll one of the threes? I just need a final damage number. I know. You, you keep doing your thing. I'm just thinking of, oh, yes! Oh, <laughs> 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 So many sixes! 
All right. <laughs> 24, 30. <laughs> and that's 39, 42, 45, 48, 88 80. points of forest damage. Okay. <gasps> Betty's wishing he hadn't pushed those tentacles away, huh? I am um, so <laughs> sick of your bullshit! Harmony, as you cast Disintegrate on the brain in the jar before you, and Does uh, anything happen when I cast it out of my amulet? No, just normal. I have to roll to see if wild magic triggers. And it doesn't. Okay. okay. Um, the liquid, the like colorful purple and red and blue liquid surrounding the brain bubbles as the beam like streaks through and strikes the brain. And you watch as the section where the, the disintegrate hits just <sighs> corrodes away. And you begin to see the inside of this construct and deep within it, wedged within and connected by cables and um, various other electronic components that you don't recognize, you see a uh, beautiful um, mirror. Uh, basically uh, with eight sides. It's an oct octagonal mirror, uh, and it has keen writing on it, uh, and you can see uh, decorations that indicate the four great spirits, and that is just wedged up within the brain construct itself. Okay. You get to put your hands in the brain now? <laughs> <laughs> well, I use my action and my bonus action, so I'm not sure if I have action to grab it now. But. Yeah, you have some movement if you want to just dance around the brain a little bit. Well, I'm inside of the world <laughs> first nice and safe from everything that's out there, yes. so I'm going to stay right where I am. Anything else on your turn? That is it. Woohoo! Nice eight, turn. Eight. That was really good. That was a hunter turn. <laughs> what does that mean? Or a Thaddeus turn. We're doing a lot of damage. Doing a lot of damage. Your first max for you tons of damage. That's true. Oh. Because that was my hunter turn because it took forever and it also did a ton of damage. This was my fattiest <laughs> turn for a one hit and yeah. a ton of damage. I've only rolled a few natural points, okay? <laughs> I'm so glad you um, that thing. There's a uh, buzzing sound from near Fiatko. Oh no. What's your Fiatko? What? Uh, Thaddeus and Mara Gosh. both take four points of psychic damage. Uh, but then. It is Thaddeus' turn. Okay. I get my shield stuff back, right? Mm-hmm. So I don't have your shield anymore? No. Okay. Uh, I have a question for you, Ethan. Yep. Um, does this thing in front of me count as core? Um, Did yes. he do any reaction to that major damage? I'm just uh, Yeah, you saw the thing winced. So you know that like it is connected to him. Uh, I'll tell you, like, on a meta level, it doesn't share damage with the brain, but yeah. it is, in essence, core. But I can, so I can, I'm you asking because I have to, and yeah, because that's, like, when we got a 10 I'll say yes. All right, then Thaddeus raises the sword and says, all of this, for you. Very good. So it's one. Let's see. One, two, three, one. one. Oh, so I'm close to that one. I got two. And I'm going to spend a level two smite on both of these. Yes, uh, okay. the return of smite. Yeah. I'm smitten with smite. <laughs> I know, a level two and a level one, because I don't have any other level twos left. Okay, so. Do you need me to separate out uh, radiant and cold here? I don't think so. Let me check. No, I don't. <laughs> She sure did. <laughs> she sure did. What did I miss? <laughs> I was like, did, did, Melissa just say, so did. did Melissa just say butt? Right in the butt. She says, I'm going to smite you right in the butt. What we were talking about combining sneak attack and smite. Psychic form of the mind flayer before you 
dissipates mm -hmm. uh, and vanishes. Okay. So you can move him off of the board. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else on your turn? See, so yeah, I've used a bonus action to bow. I use both my attacks. I'm going to move further away from tomorrow. Okay. Uh, uh, then it is Hunter's turn. Wait, 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 wait. I can only move at 30 feet, I think. The healing spirit. Okay. So I can't get it to you. It heals for 26. <laughs> I mean, if you want to get it close to me, I will send it that away. That would be good. For some because if he gonna... enters it on his turn, he'll still get it. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to put it as Sorry. far as. Just before your turn, it's going to make a tentacle attack against you. That's a legendary okay. action. Okay, sure. Are you going to stay? Hunter? Yes, Hunter. Hunter. Oh, you only move it. I'll move But it's only a 14, so it misses. Now okay. we're going to take your turn. And, uh. <laughs> So the save I'm doing at the end of the end of this turn, mm -hmm. does it have to make concentration if it takes damage? Uh, on certain things, yes. Like disintegrate? Good point. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what is it concentrating on? On it's me wall of force. and wall of force. It took 80 oh. points of damage? 88. 88, yeah. It's, it's yeah. wall of force dissipates. Yeah. It can't I was kind of hoping for that does to stay thing, up, though. Does my thing dissipate too, or not? That uh, no, that stays on. That's not a concentration. You need to move. <laughs> You don't need to move. You've got targets right there. No, I need to get to the door. Oh, yeah. Well, the wall of force is gone, too, so y'all can attack the brain. So that's at the end of my turn. All right, I'll just do three attacks against these tentacles then. Man, uh, actually, well, no, I already did it. Never mind. Okay. If uh, I'd known that, I would have done another wall of force instead of, like, a tentacle attack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does a 17 hit on the tentacle? Uh, no, it does not. 18? 18 does, yes. Okay. So then two hits. You want it in our roll separately this time? Yes, please. Okay. So the first attack is uh, 16 damage. Okay. The next attack is uh, 10. And that's it. Both on the same one. Okay. Then the lightning arcs in the room. Seat. No one is in the way. Compartments. That's a 14. Juggernauts are dead, so I'm taking them out of the initiative. The Warforged Warriors, there's still two. Your, your aura is how far? Five feet. Oh, it's only five feet. Oh, no, ten feet. Ten feet, darn. Which is also the, the, the aura of the, thing. So. Yeah, I get you. I'll stay here for a while. They are like going to make attacks against Yako. I'm never going to make this save. That's cool. Yeah, that's my thing. Ooh. Uh, 23 and 17. Both hit. It's only an OA if they leave your short range, not if they enter. Uh, 13 points of slashing. And 13 points of slashing Otherwise, for but... 26 points of slashing to Yako. Okay. He's totally fine. Pretty much out right there. He still has over 100 HP. He's like, this didn't damage so far. <laughs> Completely fine. Oh, I can make him attack. There was nothing. Darn it. <laughs> Never mind. Did you make your save? Yeah, I did, and I got a 14. Oh, actually, well, the force is a lair action and not a legendary action. So I'll do it now. Uh, Harmony, you're once again surrounded by the wall. Cool. <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm safe in here with the brain. Mara, it's your turn. Okay. Um, and I'm way out there. <sighs> you have one Warforged warrior right next to you. Okay. There's a lot of tentacles in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know, that's what I was thinking. Um, and there's. How far away is the second Warforged? Uh, next to Yako. Oh, okay. he's only ten. like 10 feet away. Okay. I can't do that. If you oh, did okay. she get healing? She's with She has to right? step in the square. Yeah. Oh, it has to be actually in the square. I don't really need it, though. It's okay. It's not like a 10 foot radius or a 5 foot radius. Um, I think I want. How tall is this room? Uh, Like 30 feet tall? I think I'd like to pass by. Okay. 
Have and you then, fasted one today? I don't think so. No, not today. Okay. She's been riding with me. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And then where would you like to fly to? Um, towards the brain. Okay. Oh, so the tent tent. If you oh, step over. into Piaco's foot first. Of course. How, how tall is the wall first? Is that's right. It, it goes to the ceiling. ceiling. It goes to the ceiling. Well, not technically the ceiling, but it goes like up and over and the And it has a ceiling. Yeah. It does have a ceiling. Yeah. He's completely surrounded. You can't get in there unless you <laughs> tell them first. Okay, well, I'll, I'll fly and just uh, kind of hang out so that I can do next turn and I can throw my thing. Okay, so you're going to hang where you are, but fly. Yep. So you wanna... You're going to fly up out of your threat range? Mm -hmm. Or yeah, that's why I asked how tall it was. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because they can't get an OA on you if you don't attack them. So well, can't I can't hit. attack and fly. That's true. I'm just yeah. making so. sure that you're aware that okay. you can use your bonus action to disengage, though. Can she? Not dodge, but disengage. Oh, yeah, that's you can bonus action. That's evasion, right? No, no, no. This no. is a different thing. Hunting action. Yeah. Hunting action? It's a road okay. level three or something. Road yeah, thing. that's right. That's right. How many would you have to? Is it me? Yeah. Nope. Oh, no. I, I thought I was up with the uncle. It's core next. Yes, it is indeed. Uh, everyone, please make an intelligence save. No. Everyone? Everyone. Including me? Including you. Okay. Uh, this is the recharged mind blast. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Hey, I rolled really well. That's really good. Hopefully, you rolled really low. Oh, do you have to roll every time, dude? Is that how mine works? I don't know. Oh, no, I mean, one of the damage dice. Oh, oh, right. 19. Okay, uh, so 19 is a pass. Natural 20! Okay. 22 uh, total. So Harmony and Mara pass. 18? 18 does not quite pass. I might be off. 25. 25 passes, okay. I don't know if it'll matter for me, but... Well, no, you don't take any damage off. Oh, fail. thank god! Oh uh, my god! Yako got a 9 hit points over here. So Yako fails as well. Hmm. Nice. Which means it's just Hunter and Yako to pass this, I think. Yeah. Now it's your turn. I'm gonna, gonna use, use Indomitable and try again, I think. I thought that's not. Not yet. Okay. Please. No, I failed. Excited. Seven eighteen is the highest one. Okay, so, so you still both fail. Um, so you both of you take thirty-three points of psychic damage okay. and are stunned for one minute. Okay. But you can repeat the save at the end of your turn, ending the effect on a success. Okay. Oh, he didn't get the ones he wanted with that. Uh, Biako is <laughs> stunned. Stunned. Mm -hmm. So he can roll a save. I'm doing the damage right now. Hold on. You said 33, right? Okay. Oh, shit. It hurts a lot. So you're going to roll his save. That's not going to pass. He's stunned still. It's a three on the dice. Okay. Uh, at the end of Biako's turn. Uh oh. Oh no. What was that? The tentacle moving oh. with you. <laughs> um, How does the tentacle move in there? There's tunnels underneath the ground, uh, so it comes popping up through like the, the cables, basically, that line the ground. It just comes popping up. So it has a ceiling with no floor? Basically, the way this is working is the Elder Brain has a reach of 30 feet with its tentacles, and I made minis because I thought it would be cool. Oh, I see. I see. So <laughs> just roll with me on Gotcha, gotcha. Um, Harmony, uh, uh -huh. it's going to make a tentacle attack. Plus eight for 27. I don't know. What's the damage here? Uh, no. That's not like a love dice. Yeah. Just tell um, me if it's more than nine. It is more than nine. Then I'm down. Okay, you took 20 points of bludgeoning damage. And then we're grappled by it and took some more psychic damage, but that matters. No, no, it doesn't matter. Thanks for uh, playing. The group of you see Harmony uh, being grappled by this tentacle within the uh, wall of force, and it is then Harmony's turn, so I need to get that saved. I wish you had given me a turn first <laughs> instead of ruining everything like you always do. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, you're not. Look at him. I'm You've so had a couple great turns this time. Take a little, take a hit. I'm always taking hits. You could have given me one battle where I didn't have to be. Uh. <sighs> These are just straight, right? Yeah. Yep. That's yeah. a failure. That is. All right. It'll be interesting to see how you guys manage to. Wish me luck here. Uh -huh. 
Hey, I pass it to this one. Oh! Five, six. Wait. Three, four, six. <laughs> it's like a skip fairy. Oh, wait, but hang on. I got stunned, so I don't know if that was concentration. I don't think so. No, that's not, one, I, of, it's not one of the types. Yeah, you have to roll. roll because of the damage. Yeah, that's actually good. That's what I can hear. Yeah, uh, pass. And. I guess I'm good, good HP. I rolled one. Okay, that's, that's an HP. <laughs> that's an HP. Alright. That's an HP. Then we're just gonna go for broke. That is gonna cast Misty Step. Okay. Get in there. Thaddeus is in there with the Elder Brain as well. Uh, and you can feel, all of you can feel this like note of panic hit your, your brains. <laughs> uh, those of you who are- Will Thaddeus, we need this? I sure hope so. We need this so bad. Oh, they're wrong, they're wrong. That's one hit. Yes! My crit. Yes! Okay. Spend my other little four slot there. Kill it, please. It's like he's going fishing. Yeah. Four. Fishing for crits. Yeah. Yeah. He got a big one. Yeah. I got a big one, guys. Uh, it's a brain. I wish I could say that when we saw that big fish. Well, we've had stranger. <laughs> we've had stranger things than a brain. That's true. Well, I don't know if you guys call that giant a stranger than a brain. This is a giant brain! It's a giant brain, it's a giant yeah. giant octopus, I So guys, it is nine. If you want to go a little bit longer, try to finish it. Yeah, let's try and finish it. Let's just, let's see how fat he's turned into that. I guess that's a good point. Sixty-two on the first hit. Okay. And on the second one, this is a level one smite. Now that you're up close, can also see within this this brain, this metal construct in the shape of a brain, uh, that mirror which you instantly recognize from your dream before, mm-hmm. um, and you can see that the brain is like drawing power from it. So you swing two swings with the sword, uh, and you can feel the brain recoiling with uh, familiar pain as the cold uh, touches its system, but it is still alive. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hunter. I'm oh, stunned. Sorry, actually, at the end of your turn. Shield ball failing now. That's another one here. Uh, 24. Shield. Okay. Uh, the shield of moonlight energy. Gosh. Buffeting the, against the tentacle. Mm-hmm. Now it's Hunter's turn. Okay, here we go. Don't be stunned! Hey, that is a yeah, that's an 18. Oh. You said 18 fails. Mm-hmm. Just yep. barely. That's an 18. And then let me see if I'm still stuck in place, right? Right. I'm yeah. still stuck there too. Uh, lightning okay. lances yeah. around the room, yeah. affecting no one. <laughs> uh, it did its job. Two warforged there are going to swing at Biako because that's, that's they can all do. they can hit. Uh, a. 18 and an 11. Uh, 18 hits. For 13 points of damage. Okay. That's the end of the round. Do we stay there or play on? A little bit Let's longer. do one more round. I don't mind going for a little round. Okay. Uh, layer actions. It has to be close. Oh, you sure hope so. <laughs> The oh, no. shimmering blue mind flare form of Core reappears next to you, Thaddeus, and you can see as you're preparing for another strike, it looks you in the eyes and says, I don't 
think so. Concentration check on the wall of force, bitch. Yes. How much damage was done? It was 80... It was 86. But total. two hits, right? Two, two hits. Two yeah. hits, yeah. 60 some, and then... And then 22 and 24. Okay. Thank you for reminding me. I'm sorry, I had a lot of things. It's okay. I uh, was just thinking, yeah. how the hell are we going to get out of this? Uh, on the first concentration check, the wall Yeah, it can't be the 30. Yes. Hopefully it doesn't cast it again before, you, before your turn. Still though. going to do the Mind Flare as the other action. Okay. Uh, then Mara. Yes! 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 No! 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 Get in here! Get her off! I'm, 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 yeah. I'm already playing! Go! Send me! <laughs> Okay, let's go! <laughs> On the pedestal. <laughs> <laughs> Sneak attack, that's right! Oh! 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 Yeah, you get some time, you just don't get the extra bonus. Oh, not yet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. 23. Mm -hmm. How long have you been playing as a character? <laughs> <laughs> Give her some credit. She started at a pretty high level. Yeah. No, she oh, is. Oh, she's oh, never, oh. she's not used to missing on her first one. <laughs> Rolling dice is hard. Not as good. Not as good. Every, every bit counts. Every bit does count. Okay. Yeah. Every bit counts. Mari, you plunge into it with the one dagger and it skates off of the brain's uh, metallic form, but then you undaunted plunge in with the other one. The electricity <laughs> crackles out around it, but it is hanging in there. <sighs> it is its turn. Mm. It does not recharge its mind blast. Good. Thank God. Oh, what can it do on its turn? Pass. It doesn't have its mind blast. Well, you know, on my mind blast, well, I can't really fail. It's okay, you still got to sneak attack. That's what matters. With its turn, it will try to tentacle Mara. You can try, but I'm fine. 18? I am 18. Okay, so it just hits you. Uh-oh. But you can half damage if you want to. You can't have any damage. Uh, so that is, oh boy, 18 points of damage, which you can have if you like. Is yeah. the psychic included in that attack, though? Because she can have both of them? Together. Oh, sorry. The psychic is actually at the start of its turns until the grapple ends. Oh, okay. Uh, so it, it would just be eighteen for now. So you can have that. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Uh, and you are grappled by it. You're wrapped up in this tentacle. Uh, Fiatko. Uh, I'll try and save from the spell. Oh, this warforge should have been out. Uh, pass. That's a twenty-three. Okay. Nice. Fiatko is free of the stun at the end of this turn. Okay. Nice. Uh, Harmony, you are wrapped up in a tentacle, take some psychic damage, and fail a death save. No. Uh, at the start of your turn. But then it is your turn. Okay. Let's hope I don't roll a failure here, guys. I'm saving a spell for you, just in case. Well, <laughs> you might have to use it. No. Oh, no. That was a natural one. I am dead. I am first, dead dead. First death of the campaign. I am yeah. so dead. Uh, no, Fabius, from the other possible. side... I'm dead. From the other side of the canister, you can see the life force leave Harmony's eyes as the tentacle strangles her tighter, uh, and then just drops her to the floor. I knew I'd be the first And she death. just rolls down the stairs. Yeah, Mara, you watch this as well. Yeah, I don't count. <laughs> Thaddeus, it's your turn. Uh, I, I gotta kill it right now. At else. the end of Har it, Harmony's turn, though, it is going to try and tentacle you okay. as well. That's a 19 okay, on yeah, dice. Okay, it misses. Plus I'm one, one dice plus eight, so 27. Oh, uh, yeah, that'll hit anyway. Four and slow damage so far. Low damage. Um, Unless he also dies. Then we're both dead. 11, so it's. Uh, 14 points of bludgeoning damage. No! I had 13 left. Oh no! Okay, so Thaddeus goes unconscious in the grip of this tentacle. Then it's your turn. Okay, so at the start you have to make a test right? Yeah. Yep, and you do fail one for psychic damage as you're grappling. Well, that's two failures. Uh, Hunter. 
I'm still stunned, so try and break out of the stun. Nope, that's not going to do it. And try and break out of the whatever that it was. Movement stack. Uh, that's a 17. So. Uh, it doesn't quite do it. Okay. Lightning races around the room and hits nothing. Except that tentacle right there. Yeah, but the tentacles aren't really. Yeah, enough targets. Um, at advantage. No, Bianco's no longer stunned, so these aren't done. Sorry. Uh, so it is 18 and 24 to try and Two hit Bianco. Uh, seven points. What's Bianco's movement speed? Yaku yeah, takes a total of 13. Yaku can kill more. <laughs> he will. Yaku takes a total of 13 points of damage. Yaku's okay. in the best shape out of all of us right now. That is uh, yes. the end of another round of initiative. What do we do, guys? I can't leave it here. I mean, it's only five after. Let's yeah. keep going. Okay. Keep going. Lair actions. Fewer of us have turns now. That's true. A wall of force springs up around the brain. Okay. okay. Except all of us are inside. Alright, Jeffrey can't kill yeah. Quark. Yeah. Uh, Mara, it's your turn. Unless Mara gets him to break concentration. Okay, let's try. Yeah. Let's get that guy. 21. 21 hits. Sneak that attack. Sneak that attack. Jimmy Mara. Oh, please. Oh, that's a good one. That is good. I think. I think. Let's see. Forty-one. Narrate right the end of the second. Yeah! Yes! Oh no! We love you, Mara. <laughs> yeah. How do you do? How do you kill this thing? Okay, so I'm up in the air, so I'm throwing this, and it hits the brain, uh -huh. and it's got all this crackly energy, mm -hmm. right? So I think it goes around and it hits all inside all of those domes. Oh, yeah, so as you throw the dagger down and it strikes into the brain and electricity bursts out over its form, you watch as uh, electricity fills all of the other domes and they just <laughs> shatter and That's liquid cool. fills the room, like begins to like flood out of these pods uh, onto the ground. The brain itself clatters to the ground uh, and the octagonal mirror that was like latched into the center of it uh, disconnects from the brain, falls forward onto the ground, uh, and the brain is still. But as Harmony lies dead on the floor and Thaddeus is unconscious, a uh, plume of black smoke emerges from the brain itself, flies across the room, through the doors, and Hunter, you watch as it uh, comes landing in the uh, amulet that the uh, black clad figure was wearing around its neck. Uh, now that you are focusing on it, uh, mm -hmm. you can see that it is a... Hold on. It is an amulet made of uh, silver and emerald and amethyst. And you've seen it before. The first time right. you saw it, it was around Gwen's neck. Yeah. And uh, the smoke basically f flies into that amulet and the room goes quiet. And that's where we'll end tonight's session. I got you. If well, someone gets me... Someone's I'll... gotta get you a radic healing potions. I keep in I, am I still stunned? Uh, yes. Or is it... So I can't. And isn't Revivify like a one minute thing? All Mara has to do is make him... Yeah. But all Mara has to do is make a, like a stabilization check on me. We're gonna pick that up... That doesn't wake you up. We're gonna pick up on Mara's turn in the initiative for the next little bit of... Um, the first of, of next episode. I might have a good variant though. And we'll resolve this. On my turn, turn I can move yeah. the healing spirit, right? He I'll also good. think about if you're still stunned. You might not be. Just let me let me think about sure, it. Sure, go ahead and think That's about right. it. Yeah, we'll, my turn, up, I we'll pick up right in this moment. I guess I could have been, been moving the healing spirit this away, right? And yeah. then like move and put them in there. Yeah, that's a good way. Even while you're stunned. Yeah, because you don't get actions or reactions, but bonus actions are fine. We've and you didn't, you passed your conversation. I did. Yeah. I rolled a 17 on dice, I rolled 24. Well, thank you, damage. everyone who tuned in to watch. Thank you guys for going with me as yes. I took forever long turns. <laughs> we all, there were some long turns. There were some long turns, yeah. Um,
That was a good fight. I'm sorry I killed you. Okay. You're not. <laughs> no, you're not. You've been gunning for me for the past few boss fights. You I should... told Nick, like, I was telling Nick in the car on the way here that this is, like, the fight that I felt had the most potential to kill yeah. someone because of all the intelligence saves. Well, yeah. and I didn't start out with full HP either. I went yeah. into this. And you guys were yeah. 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 so I was telling Nick, cool. this is the one fight where I didn't want to kill someone because we're so close to the end <laughs> and I didn't want to deal with it. You know, I'm I'm okay with it because it feels like if we had gotten through the whole campaign without a character death, it would have felt like you were going too easy on us. Okay. So I'm okay with it. I'm well, okay. I'm Unless it's permanent. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, even if it's permanent, I'll roll a new character for the last battle. I'm an actor doing that. <laughs> Um, <laughs> all right, we're going to sign off here. Thank you for watching. Uh, see you all next week. Bye. 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 Bye.